Hello and welcome uh, to our session about implementing DevSecOps in production with StackRox and Tekton. Uh, we will shortly introduce ourselves. Um, would you like to start? Yeah, absolutely. My name is Roberto Carabla and I'm an AI platform architect in the AI business unit working in Red Hat and with me is Philip. Uh, yeah, my name is Philip. I'm from Vienna. I'm in, uh, also working at Red Hat in the OpenShift Black Belt team. So I basically do POCs with customers and partners with our managed OpenShift services. All right. And yeah, what to expect from today? I will uh, short, uh, start with a short introduction from DevOps to DevSecOps. Then we will look a little bit further into uh, StackRox and how to check uh, containers for their vulnerabilities. And uh, then we will also include Cosign uh, to um, sign and verify uh, the container images. And probably we will have some time for some conclusion and Q&A, but most likely not. So we just have five demos and 30 slides. So it will be uh, quite some content for 30 minutes. So I will shortly start with uh, the introduction. Um, so basically, I guess most of you know the concept of DevOps. So it's basically uh, a practice culture and tools um, to um, make software development more efficient. Um, it's basically all about collaboration and uh, continuous improvement. So the basic uh, concepts, uh, concepts are that uh, several silos within, a comp uh, within an organization work together and collaborate uh, on their software development and delivery process. Um, for DevOps, uh, there is uh, like when you're using something like OpenShift, there is uh, like a, a tool set that you might probably use, which uh, consists of a Tekton and Argo CD and uh, build packs that you could use to uh, build um, and deploy your software onto the platform. Um, in our demo, we'll also use Quay as a container registry. And uh, of course, it might be also um, quite common to use different tools like GitHub, GitLab, Azure DevOps, Jenkins, and something like that. So um, when we are talking about security, uh, that is something that is um, sometimes missing in this DevOps process. And uh, you have to tackle security uh, in various phases of the software development and delivery process. So you have to implement security when you build the software. So for example, uh, talking about uh, supply chain security, about uh, vulnerabilities in libraries. Uh, you have to implement uh, security when you run the software. So um, the software has to run on a trusted platform. You have to make sure that the container images are secure. Um, you have to uh, automate all of this process because it's probably not worth the effort to manually check all these things all the time. And uh, of course you have to adapt uh, when something changes. So if for example um, some new CVEs come out or there's some uh, new um, attack vector or something like that. And um, yeah, of course you have to uh, identify um, the security requirements uh, from your own organization especially when you're working in regulated environments, for example. So we already have our first demo. So <laughs> this demo basically shows uh, the setup um, of the tool chain that we will use uh, in this session uh, to implement our DevSecOps pipeline. All right, so let's get to our first demo. And uh, we have um, our Ara cluster where we install an Argo CD. This Argo CD, um, also uh, help us to install the two different things. First, using the um, StackRock operator, we install um, the different components uh, around StackRocks. And um, we have also, um, and now it's uh, always failing, um, the different applications that we already deployed. So um, if this show up, uh, we can again the um, Argo CD cluster, but um, it's trying to build up. So as always in the States, the first demo um, is not running, but no worries at all. We can go with the second one, and then uh, we will show the stack that we already uh, built. So let's go and why is DexSecOps important. Uh, by the way, uh, we have um, a recording, so uh, let me just Put the recording back uh, that will save the day, hopefully. So, as we can see, 
we have um, this uh, repo, and in this repo, um, we have the um, stack rocks where we deploy it, and we have two different applications. The first application is for the stack rocks, so we already deployed uh, using the operator the stack rocks, and the uh, second one is the um, application for the signet pipelines, so we install the different um, uh, tasks and pipelines of Tecton that we will use using GitHub as well. Everything is located in uh, one repo um, that we will uh, also showcase and um, that's the um, final state where we deploy the um, stack rocks that in uh, this case is also a product that is Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security for Kubernetes. So here we need to uh, go with uh, why is TechSecOps important? Yes. So um, we have several um, challenges that we always have in these kind of processes. So we need to improve the speed, uh, the efficiency, we need to reduce human errors, we need consistency and repeatability, and we need uh, better uh, collaboration. So that's basically the core principles of DevOps, uh, which are then applied to DevSecOps also. Um, so the basic thoughts behind that is uh, security should not be an afterthought, it should be uh, implemented in kind of all stages of the uh, development process. So um, kind of the aim is to uh, include the security team early on and uh, include the patterns that they suggest to implement into these automated processes to continuously validate and verify uh, all of these steps. Um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> so we will uh, move on to Stack Rocks. Um, for all of that, uh, you basically need uh, some kind of tooling um, that you'd use in the cluster and outside of the cluster uh, in your pipelines when you build and deploy the code. Um, so we are in our demo using Stack Rocks, which is also known probably as Advanced Cluster Security by Red Hat. Um, which will tackle um, in these uh, three um, stages uh, several things. So we are talking about detect, protect, and respond. Uh, in the detect stage, uh, we will do some vulnerability analysis, uh, um, analyze the configuration of the, of the applications, and uh, StackRox also offers an API for CI/CD, so we can run the CLI tool uh, with on in our continuous uh, processes. In the protect stage, um, we will um, assure um, that some policies um, are um, can be taken into account when we run our software on the cluster. Um, we uh, can do some compliance assessments and risk profiling. So this is basically uh, when uh, the applications are um, deployed on the cluster uh, that these guardrails are taken into account. And in the response uh, section, um, we are talking about uh, the situations uh, when something fails while the application is running. Uh, so there is the possibility to do some uh, runtime behavior analysis so we can detect some patterns which can happen in the containers and um, for example quarantine them uh, if we think this is uh, something coming from a bad actor. Um, uh, StackRox can auto suggest network policies and we can do threat detection and incident response. Um, so basically when we're um, talking about these, uh, another perspective of that, uh, so we are talking about the supply chain, the infrastructure and the workloads. Um, so basically the supply chain would be something that um, is happening in the development cycle um, where we need to scan uh, continuously uh, all of the dependencies of our developers if there are some vulnerabilities in this code. Um, second part would be the infrastructure, which is also, uh, of course, an attack vector, um, where we have to uh, find out uh, if our um, infrastructure is safe and running with the best practices. And of course, the um, third step um, uh, would be the workloads that are running on our cluster, uh, where we have to make sure um, that also the workloads are protected and uh, no one interferes with them. So we are going to our second demo and I hope the Wi-Fi works now. Yeah. <laughs> it was like um, actually trouble, but let's see. All right. So um, first of all, let's see if our um, Argos be. All right. So we have the, our Argos now that Wi-Fi works with the ICS uh, operator and the signing pipelines up. So that's good. And on the other hand, 
we have here um, the dashboard um, that is showing the different things. So if we um, also load this, we will see um, different stages and uh, the vulnerability management that uh, we are already um, prepared. And uh, if we go to the, the demo repository, um, where do you see uh, the different demos? Um, if we head to the second stage, we will use Stackrocks um, uh, security management in order to check the image and see if the image um, have any vulnerability or not. So we will go to the um, Dexacox um, and we will use the ROX uh, CTL image check with uh, one image and as we can see um, we check that these images have a lot of uh, different things uh, and CVDs um, like for example one critical that is not signed properly on the other hand, have a lot of CVEs present in the um, image. So it's uh, one image that is old as well, because we notice that uh, have more than 90 days, that's not good, and have also uh, different things inside. So we are using the um, Stackbrox um, policy analy um, analysis in order to see what are the different vulnerabilities and the different CVEs against um, different policies. And if we go uh, again to the different vulnerability management, we will see the violations that have this um, image specifically. So with this, uh, you can try it because um, it's fully open source. And um, let's head to the um, demo that is introducing other things like sign. So uh, now we see an example for a CI CD uh, pipeline, um, or more or less a, so a full software development process, where it starts with uh, requirements which uh, lead into the development processes. Then we will test um, the we do a unit test, quality assurance, security scanning, um, uh, acceptance testings, and then we will do it. Uh, we will roll it out into production. Um, Basically, uh, we have uh, also mentioned the tools um, that we are using or which are supporting these stages. Uh, so for the um, pipeline itself, uh, we will uh, use advanced cluster security like the ROC CTL um, to uh, do the um, scanning, vulnerability, vulnerability assessments and um, compare it against our policies. Uh, as mentioned before, we will use uh, Quay as our container registry. We will also um, have the signatures uh, of Cosine um, available and we're running all of that on, on our OpenShift cluster. And what is Cosine M6 um, so uh, we've uh, collected some examples of uh, supply chain attacks uh, from the last several I'd say month. Uh, so I think at least one of them would uh, ring a bell at every one of you. So we got uh, SolarWinds, uh, Log4j and XZ. Uh, I think all of them were quite, quite popular in the media. And as a result of that, um, the um, Open Security, uh, Open Source Security Foundation uh, was founded to uh, kind of implement tools uh, which uh, help to um, defend uh, these kind of attacks. Um, so um, the OpenSSF um, created a tool like Sixtor, which was afterwards um, donated to the Linux Foundation. And um, it consists of uh, basically three components. Um, there is a rec core, uh, which is a transparency log. Um, it's basically a Merkle tree where the, all the hashes are uh, stored and are uh, available for everyone to look up. Um, so to validate that uh, this is yeah, kind of, um, it's validatable, basically. Um, we've got Falkio, which is a private PKI um, to create a signing certificates for developers. And today we will uh, only focus on cosign. Uh, which is basically a tool uh, to sign um, container images and to validate afterwards if the image that we are using is by the author uh, that we expect it to be. Yeah, right. So we will use Cosign to sign and verify our container images and um, we will showcase using the Cosign uh, CLI. So the first thing that we need to do is um, go to the uh, CLI and um, as we can see here, we have our um, empty repository. We have uh, our QIO 
that have not any image uh, already. So we will um, pull one image, we will sign it with cosine, and we will verify this signature. So the first thing that we need to do is to um, generate a keeper, but we already uh, generate this keeper. So we have um, our keeper um, here. I will only, for security reasons, um, show the cosine path, but you have the, the API, we have the um, private key and the public key that is already stored in our uh, Arrow cluster. And we will use this in order to pull um, the image and tag the image and um, push it again with the signature. And you will see in where you um, the signature as well. Um, so the first thing that we will do is to um, pull the image. So we are pulling the image. Thankfully, the, the Wi-Fi works. Um, then we will tag the image, and we can see that after tagging, we can push this image. This image will not have anything uh, weird. It's just uh, an image that we are pushing. So after this, we will push the image to Cuellar. Takes a little bit. Alrighty, and here we will have the image. And as you can see, it's just an image with different layers, nothing special. But we will use cosine first to sign using the private key and push the signature. And um, for doing that, we need to go to the um, R cluster and uh, pick the um, uh, different secrets around that. Just give me a sec. I will go to cosine because uh, we already installed this and we have the password here. So we are using this in order to sign and push the signature the, to the um, repository. And now, as you can see here, we have this tag has been signed uh, via cosine. So also we have the signature and this signature is the exact same signature as we have already seen here. So we are demonstrating that we are pushing and signing also the signature alongside with the container image. With that, we can use this to verify the different images that we have already. And um, after that, we are using our public key. So in this case, we are saying that this verification against the um, uh, private signature and public signature and is um, doing some following checks around uh, the signatures, so the cosine claims are validated and the signatures were verified against the specified public key. If, for example, I remove the, uh, this part, then um, and I try to uh, run the validation again, this will fail because we have not any signature and then uh, the command will fail. And we will see all of this in action in one pipeline. Yeah, so after introducing uh, all of the uh, single components that might be useful uh, to create such a DevSecOps process, uh, we will put it all together in a complete pipeline uh, because that's uh, usually the thing that makes sense uh, the most uh, because I guess uh, it's also not feasible uh, that uh, all the images are signed by a specific person on its own laptop, so we will have a repeatable process to implement that. Um, so uh, we will uh, create a Tekton pipeline, um, which will first check out um, the repository, um, build and push the image um, to the Quay registry, and afterwards um, deploy uh, the manifest uh, to the Kubernetes cluster. And then we will implement um, the kind of DevSecOps steps, where we will sign the image and also push the, secret, uh, the signature to the um, uh, Quay registry. And we will now um, start that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, let's see this in action. Um, the thing that we will do is again go to the command line and uh, start the pipeline. I can start the pipeline either on the command line or not. So um, I will go to demo 4 and then inside of the demo 4 I will create a pipeline run. This pipeline run is having the same images pipeline run. So, we will see in the pipeline run 
all of these steps and we can repeat it again because we run uh, after that and uh, take a little bit. But again, if we summarize it, we will git clone. So we will clone our source um, uh, code of our application. We will build and push as a regular do towards um, Red Hat Way IO. And we will implement also the execops adding the signed image and push the signatures as we already saw in the previous demo. So we are first signing the image that we already produced in order to prevent um, to anyone tamper our uh, image or uh, introduce uh, anything in the supply chain. And we are pushing also this signature in order to be verified. And after that is a regular deploy manifest and update uh, the manifest. So if we go again to the um, uh, fetch repository, we will see that it's the downloading the internet uh, specifically because uh, it takes a little bit. Uh, it's a um, um, fetch repository, build a custom, and then uh, check the different images. And after that, um, we will use um, ACS in order to validate. Because um, one step that we are doing here, once we uh, are pushing the signatures, we are also using. Um, ACS in order to validate that the um, uh, image have the signature or and the proper signature. So we are um, using ACS at the building process to also um, verify this signature. As uh, we, we will see, we are signing the image and then we are using sign the prop. This signing the image, we can see um, in the exact same repo, for example, in Cuellayo, and we are um, checking against ACS the different policies because we created one policy that verifies the signature um, in uh, ACS. And if everything works well, then we apply the manifest and we will have our application living. So we can see here that we have the signing devconf that we already produced a few seconds ago, also the signature, and um, we have no violations in the um, uh, ACS, so the uh, ACS policy that we already created worked well. And we need to hack our pipeline, right, Philip? Yeah, that would be basically this uh, last demo, I think. Uh, that we are trying to uh, hack our process, so Roberto will be uh, his uh, own bad actor and try to hack his own pipeline. So let's see him in action, right? Let's um, first of all, because it takes a little bit as well, um, start our pipeline. So we have the demo file and we will create the pipeline run. Then we will see that we have another pipeline run. This um, going through the exact same steps, but we have naughty um, and um, very dangerous hackers. Yeah, in this um, uh, demo, we will show uh, what actually happens when not everything is uh, running according to the plan and uh, when ACS detects uh, that uh, this is uh, that the container chip image is not valid and uh, wants to um, help us to protect us from uh, deploying unsigned images onto the cluster. So basically, in this scenario, um, um, uh, we have ACS policy. Uh, which says that only um, signed images are allowed on our cluster and we will show what happens when we uh, don't follow this policy. Yeah. So, um, as we can see here, we have the Dayton pipeline and we will see what happens if ACS detects that the uh, image it was not signed properly. Uh, it is still downloaded by the whole internet, so sorry about that but we can explain uh, what happens. So imagine the steps that we saw already. Uh, we have a git clone, we have a mid push, but we are not signing the uh, image uh, and pushing the signature. So ACS will deny the request because we we'll see the signature mismatch as we already saw uh, in the command line. And then this will have a check and verify images using ACS because um, we try to check for the different images in Guayayo, but because have not this uh, signature push, cannot retrieve the signature and compare with the um, public key that uh, have ACS or Stackworks in this case. So if we go 
to the check image, then we will see that the pipeline, the pipeline failed, not because of the Wi-Fi, uh, it's because uh, we have a signature image policy here that is saying your image is also against our trusted signature image policy, so you have a um, policy security critical and it's breaking the bill, so no one is capable to push this uh, image and to deploy this image into our cluster and say alert on images that have not been signed and the violation is image signature is unverified and the remediation says that all images should be signed by our to sign demo signatures so we have in uh, ACS this and we can see that it's not signed um, properly and um, if we go through the policy management we will see that um, the trusted image then have all of this knowledge. So we are uh, using this, we have the response as enforce and the enforcement will break our pipeline uh, CICD. So we have this uh, policy and this cosine signature and this cosine signature have the public key and the public path that we already showcased in the uh, command line. So we are defending our pipeline and no one that it's not signing properly with our own um, uh, private key uh, can deploy uh, or um, de deploy these emacs and this container emacs in our cluster. So with that, I think that um, we have um, yeah, the conclusions. Uh, just one more suggestion, Roberto, do you want probably uh, to show uh, the pipelines how they look like in the cluster because we did not, we did only show the architecture diagrams right. basically. So we have here a um, fetch repository, we have the build a custom, the check image and the apply manifest and update that is essentially this um, specifically but it's breaking because we have not the um, signature process but if we go to the secure way, we have another one, another pipeline that is booked and this pipeline have uh, the different steps. We have the fetch repository that is hip long, we have the build a custom as well, and then we have sign image and check image. This sign image is using cosine to sign in and pushing the signature, and the check image is using stack works or ACS in order to verify and if is everything good will also apply the manifest and uh, deploy our image, but if not, we will face also this that breaks the, um, uh, all of the pipeline because we are preventing that no one without signing um, the image and pushing the image signature um, will uh, continue because uh, have not this process. And yeah, more or less, um, this is um, the five demos. So it's time to have the conclusions. Yeah, so basically uh, what we've seen today is uh, we're using like uh, I think five tools that we uh, uh, packed together uh, to build a simple DevSecOps pipeline um, which is automated, repeatable, everything is in code. Um, we will sign our images, we send them to the registry, validate that, uh, deploy policies to the cluster. And uh, if you'd like to uh, really look into uh, these uh, code snippets, uh, we have everything on GitHub. Uh, so uh, we will also um, share the slides and add the recording. Uh, so if you'd like to um, have a little bit more time to look into that, because I think it was like a lot of content, uh, content for these 30 minutes, uh, um, feel free to look into that. And if you have any questions, I think it's okay to get in contact with all of us. Um, um, if there are any questions coming up on that. All right, so, uh, and uh, any questions in the room that you want to ask? You have uh, just one minute, so. All right, so thank you very much for um, your attendance, and yeah, happy to come.